All right, so chapter eight, we're going to be talking about probability, but we need to first talk about the fundamental counting principle. So let's suppose a person is shopping for a new car. After, that should be settling. Put an L in there. On the make and model of the car, there are still several choices the person needs to make before she, he or she can start on negotiating a price. First, needs to decide uh, on the body type and the style of the car. For the body type, the person can choose between a sedan and a coupe. And for style, the person can choose between the DX, cheapest, LX, or EX, most expensive. We can illustrate the person's choices in a tree diagram. So here we're going to pick a coupe or a sedan. And in the coupe, they can either do a DX, LX, or EX. In a sedan, they can do a DX, LX, or EX. And this diagram shows us that we have six choices. There's six different choices. Each body type can be combined with one of three uh, styles. The total number of choices of a car is equal to the number of body types, that's two, times the number of styles, that's three. And this illustrates the fundamental counting principle. If there are m choices from one group and n choices from another group, then the total number of ways the two choices can be made is m times n. So let's turn to page 135 of our workbook. And it says we have two 20 side uh, dice are rolled. How many possible outcomes exist? Well, each one has 20 possibilities. So by the fundamental count, um, counting principle, it'd be 20 times 20, or 400 possible outcomes. Let's try number two. A person can rent a studio, one bedroom, or a two bedroom apartment. He or she can also choose not to rent a parking space, rent an uncovered parking space, rent a, carving, uh, rent a covered parking space, or rent a garage. How many options are there? So with a studio, one bedroom, or two bedroom apartment, there's three options there. Uh, not renting a parking space, renting an uncovered uh, parking space, renting a covered parking space, or renting a garage, there's four choices there. So if we multiply that out, three times four, that gives us 12 options. <clears throat> How many license plates can be made if there are th the first three characters are letters and the last three characters are digits from 0 through 9. So the first three uh, characters, if you think about that, um, this is just kind of an extension of the fundamental uh, counting principle. So let's go back to our handout and see how that would work. Suppose the car buyer now from the previous page now has to pick a color choice for the car. And there are four choices. Red, black, white, and blue. That are available for each style of car. Now our two diagram looks like this. Where I know there's twelve choices, uh, sorry, six choices from before. But now each of those six choices I could then choose four colors. Now it gives a total of 24 uh, choices in total. So again, notice is the product of the um, body type choices two, the style choices three, and the color choices four. And this leads to a more expanded version of the fundamental counting principle. If there are m sub one choices from um, one group, n sub two choices from a second group, so on and so forth, and m sub n choices from the nth group. 
Then total number of ways uh, n choice can be made is n sub 1 times n sub 2 times so on and so forth to m sub n. So with this license place one uh, example we're just looking at, it's going to be an extension. The first three characters are letters. So for the first letter, you have 26 choices. Second letter, there's 26 choices. Third letter, there's 26 choices. And then for the numbers, uh, the digits, so first digit, well, 0 through 9, so that's 10 choices. Second digit would also be 10 choices. And the third digit would be 10 choices. And so we're just going to be multiplying these numbers together. So just take your calculator, do 26 times 26 times 26 times 10 times 10 times 10. If you get 17,576,000 different plates. All right, let's try number four. For Easter brunch, Fleming Steak Hand offers the following menu at a fixed price. So you have a choice of appetizer, there's three choices there. Choice of entree, there's four. Choice of side dish would be two. And choice of dessert would be three. How many different meals can be ordered? All right, so we're going to do, we have three appetizers, four entrees, two side dishes, and three desserts. So appetizers times the choices for the entrees, times the choices for the side dish, times the choices for the desserts. And just multiply those numbers together. And that will give us 72 different meals. Number five, if the final exam has 25 multiple choice questions, each with five answer choices, how many ways can a person answer the question Assume none of the questions were left blank. So for the first question you have five choices. For the second question you have five choices. For the third question you have five choices. So on and so forth. Until you get the last question. So that's the same thing as five to the 25th power. I'm not going to try to put 5 times 5 times 5 times 25 of those. We're going to rewrite that as 5 to the 25th power and do our calculator. Ooh, we get kind of a weird looking number. 2.980232239 times 10 to the 17th. So let's think about what this number means. A thousand would be three zeros. A million would have six zeros. A billion would nine zeros. A trillion twelve zeros. A quadrillion would be 15 zeros. And then 
Let's see. We have seven. This tells us we have 17 digits. The power of 17. So the first three digits are going to be 2, 9, 8, and then it's going to be followed by 14 zeros. Approximately. I've rounded off here. So, thousand, million, billion, trillion, quadrillion, I think that's quintillion, but you can uh, look that up. In either case, it's a large number. Oops.